Five years after half of life on Earth was wiped out by the Infinity Gems, a group of the planet's most legendary heroes come together with a plan to defeat Thanos' army and bring all the victims back. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Avengers, Endgame, from 2019. Somewhere in space, inside a spaceship, Tony Stark and Nebula are trapped without enough fuel to return to Earth. Knowing that he will soon perish from lack of oxygen, the billionaire decides to record a message for Pepper, his wife, and apologizes for not being able to get back to her. A few hours later, Captain Marvel appears and takes the pair home. It's been 23 days since Thanos came to Earth and wiped out 50% of all creatures on the planet. Since then, the remaining members of the Avengers have been looking for him, but still have no idea where to find him. Luckily, Nebula has an idea of where her evil father might be, because with Rocket's help, she was able to detect the last planet where Thanos used the Infinity Gems. To bring their friends back and undo all the evil caused by the enemy, the group of superheroes decide to go after him with the mission of getting the jewels back. When she realizes that there is no defense system preventing them from getting closer, Captain Marvel and the rest of the team unite to attack him and Thor rips Thanos' hand off with his axe. However, upon checking the gauntlet, the heroes realize that the Infinity Gems are not there, so Thanos reveals that, after making the necessary corrections to the universe, he destroyed the gems because they no longer served any purpose. Furious at this news, Thor decides to strike a final blow and lops off the head of the villain who has decimated billions of human lives. Five years after Thanos' elimination, Ant-Man returns from the quantum realm and, while walking the streets, realizes that his world is completely different from what it used to be. Without understanding what is happening, Scott Lang continues walking and finds hundreds of tombstones with the names of people who perished during Thanos' attack. Terrified, the man goes to check if his daughter's name is on this vast list of victims, but what he finds is his own name. Immediately, Ant-Man runs to his house and rings the doorbell. Just then, Cassie opens the door and hugs her father. Seeing his daughter grown up, Scott feels even more confused and wonders how long he has been trapped inside the quantum realm. The next day, he goes to the Avengers office and meets Natasha Romanoff and Steve Rogers. Ant-Man then explains that just before Thanos destroyed half of life on the planet, he embarked on a mission to the quantum realm and got trapped inside. This happened because Hope, his partner, should have pulled him out, but she didn't have time to do so because she was part of the group of people who disappeared. Although they had spent five long years on Earth, in Scott's perception, it was only a few hours, because time works differently there. His idea, then, is to use the quantum realm as a time machine so that the Avengers can go back in time and collect the Infinity Gems to undo the chaos that Thanos has caused. To make this plan viable, the trio know they will need the help of a genius and decide to go after Stark to ask for his help. The billionaire now lives in an isolated house in the woods with his wife and daughter. Despite everything that has happened, he has managed to find his happiness, so when his friends show up to ask for help, Stark refuses to take part in the mission because he knows he has too much to lose if things go wrong once again. The second option, then, is to go after Bruce who, after some experiments in the lab, has permanently acquired his Hulk appearance. That night, Stark is restless and his curiosity as to whether time travel is really possible makes him create some prototypes in his laboratory. To his surprise, he manages to find a way to implement this theory, but is interrupted by his daughter. After escorting Morgan to her room, Stark kisses his daughter goodnight and walks to the living room to talk to his wife. When he discovers that he has been able to discover the formula for time travel, Pepper advises him to use his genius to help people who have lost their loved ones. A few days later, with Scott's equipment and the little knowledge Bruce has on the subject, the group builds a machine that, in theory, is capable of taking them back in time. However, during the test, a big mistake happens and Ant-Man is brought back with different chronological ages. After a few attempts, Scott returns from the quantum realm at his correct age and everyone is relieved to know that he is okay. Frustrated, Steve goes out for a breather and sees Stark's car approaching. After getting out of the vehicle, Iron Man reveals that he has managed to build a time-space GPS and says he will use it to help his friends return to the past. That afternoon, Rocket and Nebula arrive on Earth to help with this mission and the raccoon accompanies Bruce to New Asgard to recruit Thor. But when they find him, they realize that the God of Thunder is not what he used to be. Apart from having replaced some of his muscles with a beer belly, Thor does nothing but drink beer and play video games with his new friend Korg. When he learns that there is a chance to fix everything Thanos has done, Thor refuses to help, but changes his mind when Rocket reveals that there is cold beer waiting for him on the ship. Meanwhile, Natasha is in Tokyo looking for her friend, who is now using his skills to act as a vigilante. But when he learns that there is hope of seeing his family again, Clint Barton doesn't think twice about returning to the United States with the Black Widow. 
The biggest problem the team will now have to face is figuring out where to find each of the Infinity Gems, as they have been in different locations throughout history. There are enough Pym Particles for each superhero to make only one trip back in time, so if something goes wrong, there's no chance of a repeat. To increase their chances of success, the Avengers decide to split up into groups. Captain America's team travels to New York, in the year 2012, with the mission of collecting three of the six Infinity Gems. Knowing that one of the jewels is with Stephen Strange, Bruce goes to his house, but finds only the Ancient One. At that time, Strange had not yet received his superpowers and was working as a surgeon in a hospital 20 blocks away. Seeing the Time Jewel around the Ancient One's neck, Bruce tries to take it, but with a single blow, the woman separates his soul from his body. Meanwhile, Rocket and Thor travel to the real Asgard to steal the reality gem and Thor spots his mother. He knows that Frigga will be eliminated that day and panics, so he decides to abandon the mission. After leaving Nebula and War Machine in Morag, in the year 2014, Black Widow and Hawkeye go to the planet Vormir. When the rest of the team leaves, Nebula tells her partner that they need to hide because there are more people looking for the Infinity Gems that year. In addition to her past self, Nebula reveals that Gamora and her father are also looking for the jewels at this very moment. The three of them are working together to find each of the stones so that Thanos can put his plan into practice. Tony Stark returns to the day Loki was arrested along with Ant-Man and Captain America. The trio then come up with a plan to steal the Mind Gem that is in the possession of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who actually belong to Hydra. Seeing the phonies in the elevator, Captain America joins them and pretends to be a member of Hydra to convince them to hand over the briefcase. Meanwhile, Stark helps Ant-Man cause a dysrhythmia in his past self in order to distract people. During the commotion, Scott kicks the briefcase to Tony, but as he is leaving, he is accidentally knocked over by the Hulk, who is completely out of control. Just then, the Tesseract flies out of the case and Loki, who was about to be arrested, takes the opportunity to escape after grabbing it. After helping Stark get back on his feet, the Avengers split up to search for the fugitive and, upon finding his future self, Captain America believes that this is Loki in disguise. During the duel, the pair end up breaking the glass walls of the building and falling from a gigantic height. When he hits the ground, the Steve of the future receives a blow and is about to be defeated when he manages to use Loki's scepter to paralyze his opponent. After explaining his real reason for wanting the Time Jewel, Bruce wins the Ancient One's trust, but she says she can't give it to him, as this will create countless parallel realities. However, Bruce claims that, in the future, Doctor Strange, who will be the new Guardian of the Jewel, gave it to Thanos voluntarily. Upon hearing this, the Sorceress Supreme realizes that she may have made a mistake and, in order to save that world, she will have to give up her duty. After returning Bruce's soul to his body, the woman decides to trust her successor's plan and gives the jewel to the Hulk. When he discovers that the other version of Nebula is in Morag helping the Avengers, Thanos decides to read the duplicate's memories to obtain information. While hiding in the old palace where he used to live, Thor ends up being found by his mother and Frigga soon realizes that this is the version of her son that came from the future. At this point, they go to a secluded place to talk and Thor tries to warn his mother that she will perish soon, as he believes he can change her fate that way. However, Frigga reminds her son that he is there to fix his future, not hers. After stealing the jewel, Rocket runs to find his partner and they both prepare to return to the present, but before he does, Thor picks up his hammer and proves to himself that he is still worthy of wielding it. After entering the Temple of the Jewel of Power and getting what they were looking for, War Machine and Nebula prepare to return together, but the alien can't catch up with the clock and ends up falling behind. The mind of her version of the past is being attacked by her own father, who plans to use it to gather information. When he discovers that his daughter has betrayed him, Thanos decides to give her a chance to redeem herself and sends Nebula to eliminate her other version. After waking up from the hallucination, the woman rushes to the ship to warn her friends about what has happened, because now Thanos knows the whole plan. When Tony Stark and Captain America meet, they think of a new way to find the Tesseract that was stolen by Loki, as they need it to gain access to the Jewel of Space. The pair then decide to risk their own lives and travel back in time while Ant-Man takes the Mind Jewel back to the future. Now, the pair are taken to the year 1970, in New Jersey, because Stark knows that the Tesseract is being kept at that military base. After using a disguise to break into the base, the pair split up and Stark manages to steal the Tesseract. The superhero then puts the object into a briefcase and walks to the door. At this point, he meets his father, Howard Stark, and has the chance to talk to him. Meanwhile, Rogers goes after the Pym Particles and manages to steal some of them from the lab. While trying to leave, Captain America runs into some guards and, coincidentally, goes to hide in the office of Peggy Carter, the only woman he has ever loved. 
Even though he wanted with all his heart to stay and build a life with her, Rogers decided to continue the mission and went to meet Tony. After being attacked by her other version, Nebula has her time GPS stolen and tries to convince Gamora to stop Thanos' plans from coming to fruition, as he will sacrifice his own daughter to get the Soul Gem. Upon arriving in Vormir, Natasha and Clint meet the Guardian of the Soul Jewel, who guides them to the cliff where the jewel is hidden. However, the Red Skull explains that in order to get it, you have to lose the person you love. This means that only one of them will leave that planet alive. After a brief conversation, Natasha decides to sacrifice herself, but Clint doesn't agree and tries to stop her. However, when Hawkeye was about to jump off the cliff, Black Widow managed to save him and used a rope to hold her friend up. They're both hanging from the rock and Clint begs her not to let him go, but Natasha claims to be at peace with her own elimination and gives up her life so that he can get the jewel. When he wakes up, Clint is in a shallow pond and, when he opens his hand, he finds the soul jewel. At that moment, the hero has confirmation that the last events were real and, in fact, Natasha is no longer in the world of the living. When he returns to the present, he breaks the sad news to his friends and Thor says that, after bringing half of humanity back to life, the Avengers will go after the Black Widow. However, Clint reveals that this sacrifice cannot be undone and, upon hearing this, Bruce tries to contain his anger. Knowing that Natasha can never be brought back, the group decides to make their sacrifice count and Stark manages to gather all the jewels in the gauntlet. After using the powers of that artifact, Thanos was almost eliminated and became extremely weak. That's why the Avengers were able to eliminate him so easily. To prevent one of his friends from dying while using that power, Bruce applies to snap his fingers, because he knows that his body is more resistant than that of all his companions. The plan is to change absolutely nothing that has happened in the last five years, just to bring back the people who have disappeared. After putting on the gauntlet, Hulk's right arm is completely burnt, but he manages to resist all the pain caused to his body and snaps his fingers in order to complete the last phase of the mission. While Bruce is receiving medical attention, Clint receives a call from his wife and is thrilled to hear her voice on the phone. Just then, the Avengers base is attacked by a ship, which sends missiles to destroy the whole place. Luckily, all the team members manage to survive the attack, but now they have to figure out how to get out from under the rubble. After blowing up the place, Thanos sent his soldiers to eliminate the survivors. With the help of his daughter, he used the Pym Particle that was in Nebula's GPS to transport his entire ship to the future and complete his mission. When she sees all the evil her father has caused, Gamora decides it's time to stop him and asks for her sister's help to do so. Seeing Thanos sitting calmly amidst the rubble, the Avengers realize that this is a trap, but they still decide to approach him to try to stop him. The villain believed that by eliminating half the life on that planet, the other half would thrive, but now he realizes that this is impossible. As long as there are people who remember how things were in the past, there will be people unable to move on and accept the future. Thanks to the stubbornness of this group of superheroes, Thanos has established a plan to recover the Infinity Gems, but now he intends to do something even worse. Not content with destroying half of humanity, he plans to exterminate the entire planet and then use the gauntlet to build a completely new world. Upon hearing this, Thor, Stark and Rogers team up to try and stop their enemy before he has a chance to carry out his new plan. While the trio fights to prevent the Earth from being decimated, the rest of the team tries to get out of the rubble before the place is flooded. While fleeing from the aliens who are trying to capture him, Hawkeye uses his arrows to destroy them and narrowly manages to escape alive. At that moment, he meets his teammate and hands her the gauntlet, without even suspecting that it is actually Nebula from the past. Luckily, Gamora shows up with the more mature version of her sister and tries to stop her from giving the Infinity Gems to her father. They both join forces to try to convince Nebula to go the other way, but the robotic woman refuses to betray Thanos and threatens to shoot Gamora. To protect her sister, the Nebula of the present shoots her past self and Clint manages to get the gauntlet back. During the battle against Thanos, Iron Man is stabbed and ends up fainting after being thrown away. At this point, Thor attacks his enemy with the Stormbreaker, but ends up being defeated by him. The God of Thunder is about to have his chest destroyed by his own axe when Steve Rogers uses Mjolnir to strike Thanos and saves his companion. With the hammer in hand, Captain America becomes able to control lightning and attacks his enemy with a strong electric current. Furious, Thanos gets up and strikes back with all his might. After a series of blows, Cap's shield is destroyed and the three superheroes are unable to fight. Just then, Thanos' army arrives on the planet and prepares to duel alongside their leader. Devastated, Rogers gets up with no hope that he will be able to protect his planet, as he believes that all his companions have been annihilated. What he didn't realize was that he could count on the help of those who were brought back by the Hulk and, through a portal created by Doctor Strange, appear on his side on the battlefield. 
Just then, Ant-Man emerges from the rubble and saves his friends who were about to drown. They then join forces with the Dora Milaje, the army of warlocks and the Asgardians to fight a battle against Thanos. During the war, as the two armies clash, Peter Parker has the chance to meet his mentor again and Stark embraces him, relieved to see him again. The reunion between Peter Quill and his beloved wasn't the most exciting. Since this is Gamora from the past, she hasn't met him yet, so she attacks her boyfriend because she has no emotional ties to him. While trying to keep the gauntlet secure, Clint becomes a target and has to flee from enemies in the crossfire. Realizing that his partner is in danger, Black Panther volunteers to take the artifact to Scott's van, but ends up being surrounded by Thanos. Just as T'Challa was about to be captured, Wanda appears and looks furious. The sorceress blames Thanos for taking away everything she held most precious and now she has the chance to take revenge. When he realizes that he is losing the war, the Mad Titan orders his subordinates to use their ship to launch a rain of fire on the place, without even bothering to eliminate his troops along with the enemies. Suddenly, the weapons change their target because an unidentified object has just entered the atmosphere. Just then, Captain Marvel appears and easily destroys the enemy ship. After taking the gauntlet that was in Spider-Man's possession, Carol Danvers enlists the help of Pepper and other warriors to take her to the time machine in Scott's van, with the aim of sending her back to the past. However, just as Captain Marvel was about to complete this objective, Thanos threw his sword and managed to destroy the vehicle. At that moment, the artifact falls next to the villain and he manages to grab it. To stop him from decimating the planet for a second time, Carol tries to destroy the weapon, but Thanos pulls one of the jewels out of the gauntlet and manages to strike the captain. Looking at Doctor Strange, Stark receives a signal and realizes that the only chance of saving the Earth is in his hands. So he starts a fight against Thanos to steal the gauntlet, but he can't get it. Then, when the Mad Titan tries to use his new superpowers to destroy that reality once and for all, he realizes that the Infinity Gems have been stolen and Stark uses them all to create his own gauntlet with the help of his suit. Then Iron Man snaps his fingers and, in a fraction of a second, the war is over. All the soldiers in the enemy army turn to dust and Thanos sees his loyal subjects disappearing right before his eyes. With no other option, he sits down on the battlefield and accepts his defeat. The villain then disappears, along with all his subordinates. With half his body burnt by radiation, Stark lies in the rubble of battle waiting for his elimination and War Machine is the first to find him. Soon after, Peter appears and tries to communicate with him, but his mentor is unable to answer him. When Pepper approaches, Tony recognizes her and has the chance to say goodbye to his wife. Knowing that there is nothing that can be done to save him, the woman tries to reassure her husband and tells him that he can rest now. After Tony's perishment, Pepper breaks down in tears, but knows she has to move on for her daughter. On that day, Clint returns home and has the chance to reunite with his family. The same goes for Scott, who gets the chance to make up for lost time with his daughter. During Tony Stark's wake, Pepper shows all her friends and family the message her late husband left before embarking on the mission to restore the planet. Iron Man always knew the great risks he would be taking and was aware that he might not return home alive. As a result, he recorded a final farewell message to his loved ones and took the opportunity to reassure them that his perishment is the end of every superhero's journey. After the universe has been brought back into balance, the last mission is to return the Infinity Jewels to the exact moment when they were taken. Otherwise, countless alternative realities will be created. Determined to restore order, Steve Rogers volunteers to carry out the task. However, when Bruce tries to bring him back, he realizes that something is wrong. In Earth time, this mission shouldn't take more than five seconds, although for Steve, that would be enough time to return all the jewels. While Bruce tries to bring his friend back, Buck looks around and sees a gentleman sitting by the lake. At that moment, Sam discovers why Steve hasn't returned. Instead of returning to his reality, Captain America decided to stay in the past to live the life he always dreamed of with Peggy Carter. Now that he can no longer be a superhero, Steve decides to pass on his shield and gives his most precious possession to Sam, who will now have to carry the weight of the responsibility that goes with it. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.